Pandora. Uh, so when I was 14 years old, I decided to sail around the world on my own. And I was 16 when I successfully completed that voyage. So uh, that kind of made me the youngest person to sail around the world on my own. And from that journey, I just learned so much. I saw so many new cultures. I learned about the world. I learned a lot about myself. Um, and because of that, I kind of came up with the idea that I really wanted to be able to give those experience to other teenagers as well. So I set up a foundation um, to sail with teenagers, to give them those same experiences and, and, and life experiences that, yeah, that kind of change your life. So uh, for that, of course, we needed uh, quite a big boat. And we managed that with the help of, well, quite a few sponsors and just a lot of individuals who helped us with various things. And um, a big thank you should go to Vitron Energy, who provided us with a lot of the gear that you can see here. A um, good working electrical installation on a boat is, well, quite important, especially since we're sailing six months around the Caribbean and, and hopefully a bit further as well in the future. So a, a system that we can rely on is very necessary since most of the time we will have to be completely self-sufficient. Um, so I just wanted to explain to you a little bit what our electrical system looks like. We've got four times 200 amp hours lithium batteries. So there's two more on the other side, but I will show you later. Um, and then here we've got a quattro, it's 8 kilowatts, so it's, it's huge. <laughs> uh, the reason we chose such a big inverter and charger is that we have a big generator as well. It's actually 17 kilowatts and it's, in the beginning it was already in the boat and we kind of thought, well that's just way too big, what are we going to do with this? But because lithiums charge really fast, adding a charger who would actually be able to put that input from the generator into it, we are now able to charge our batteries fully in about one to two hours of running the generator. So obviously that saves a lot of fuel. Yeah, we're, we're quite happy with this guy. Um, then over here we've got um, a little isolation transformer. So yeah, basically to prevent strange currents going to and from the shore when we're plugged in, uh, which during our trips doesn't happen that much, we're mostly on anchor, but of course when we're working on the boat or we are in a harbour, uh, this, is, this is quite an essential thing as well. So the only minus point I find from this big quattro is that even when we're not using it, when it's just turned on, it uses quite a bit of power. And I want to make the boat, of course, as efficient as possible. Uh, so <laughs> To kind of solve that problem, we got a little multi-plus inverter right here. Uh, and we generally use this at night or when nothing big is being used on the boat. Then we turn on the little inverter and that way we're still able to charge our phones and laptops and kind of small appliances. Uh, but we're not able to use like the microwave or the washing machine or um, the, the water boiler or things like that. So if you want that, we sure turn on a quattro. But it makes a huge difference in just the overall power usage because yeah, even when we're not using it, it would otherwise use power. So that's worked quite well uh, this past trip and, and we're quite happy with that setup. So then over here we've got our ventilation system. Uh, it's, it's quite a necessary thing because lithiums really don't like being too hot. Uh, and this is a bed. There are boards on here and mattresses, so it's quite a closed area and it's kind of the best place in the boat to put all it, but not for the air coming through. So we had to find a solution for that. And we made this ventilation system here so it sucks the heat from the cotro away and there's fresh air coming in. Um, because most of our sailing goes on in the tropics, so it's it's really warm, the water temperature is warm, and um, yeah, to make this system run optimally, it's really important that it's ventilated well and, and kept cool. 
Um, then here in the back, all the way over here, I might have to take the camera for a sec. Okay, so over here in the back, we've got our DC uh, links distribution system. There's all our DC coming in and out. Um, over there we've got the shunt, and in these boxes, the distribution boxes, there are also fuses. Then over here we've got a battery protect, also necessary, and well, just another fuse, because it's going to be in a lot over here. So that's, that's it for this side. Um, yep, over here we've got two more 200 amp hour lithium batteries that work together with the other side. So that's all of our house group batteries. There are more batteries for the engine, starters, generator, starter. And we've also got a 12 volt navigation battery for the VHF and some small things that run on 12 volt. Because the rest of our boats is actually on 24 volt. Kind of failed to mention that before. So yeah, uh, here we've got a few more batteries. You see the buck boost blinking over there. Here under the floor you've got the starter batteries from the engine, 24 volts. Over there we've got a 12 volt navigation battery to run the VHF and some other 12 volt appliances. And over here we've got the generator starter battery. Okay. So over here we've got a buck boost, also from Frigtron, and just some um, minus bars and a shunt in the other box. Um, so the buck boost is mostly because the charging from the alternators to the batteries would otherwise go wrong. So it's basically regulating that. Lithiums can take on power for a long time, pretty much forever actually and they would suck up so much power from the alternator that eventually the alternator would burn out because it's just not made for that. You can give a lot of amps for a certain period of time but not all the time. So we've got the bug boost who can regulate that and um, yeah turn that down a bit so that the alternator will actually survive the lithiums and also of course to get the correct input into the lithiums because it's um yeah it's quite different than normal batteries so that's what we've got over here um also over here we've got our mppts so we have quite a bit of solar panels on our deck uh 1300 watts sponsored by solbian and so yeah, these, these big MPPTs here are dealing with that. So they're divided into three groups. And yeah, they've been such a blessing in, in providing us with lots of power, especially when it's sunny. Then another really important thing when running a boat on lithium is, is obviously uh, monitoring and making sure that they're being used properly. So for that, we've got the VMS, uh, which is over here, and a Serbo GX, which basically is a computer and controls all of the information coming in and out and puts it to the different sources. Yeah, so uh, over here we've got the BMS. So it basically monitors every single cell in the lithiums and it will shut off if it's finds that it's too low or too high or they're too different from each other um, and we've actually had it once that the batteries were already quite low at night and someone used a big appliance I, th I think it was the microwave and the BMS just decided that the voltage drop that the microwave added onto already not really full batteries uh, was too dangerous so it just shut off the whole system um, and yeah, I'm really happy with it. It works really well. It's it's obviously a big safety thing and also making sure that the batteries have a long life. So yeah, this this was kind of stupid. It was our own fault. And um, yeah, this thing picks it up really well. And then down here is the Servo GX. So you can see heaps of cables coming in and out, basically the MPPTs go in there, it goes to the panel which is in the navigation table 
and I'll show that to you as well. It communicates with pretty much everything that is on board and we are able to have that all in one place and monitor and see it so that is really cool. Here we've got a beautiful panel. Uh, so here we can see our shore power coming in. If the generator is on, it will switch to generator. We can see that uh, Quattro is in float mode. We can see our AC load. We can see how much our solar panels are charging, how much DC we're using, our voltage, and the amps going in or out of the battery. So this is just a general screen. Um, and it's super important. I mean, I, I look at this all the time, all day. So in the menu, um, we can have the multi plus here, which is just, um, it's always inverting because it, it kind of runs through it at the moment. Um, and then the smart chun. So this one is from about truster. We've got some MPPTs in there saying how much they put in. We can see the general batteries. So it's really a nice, setup where you can just see everything obviously you can add a lot more which we didn't you can see that the quattro is in float and and change a whole bunch of stuff so yeah yeah so over here we've got a 17 kilowatt generator nicely encased in a box so that you don't hear it much is it power? nice power isn't it very good and right behind it is the engine, but I'm going to show you that another time. Okay, so here we're looking into the four peak. Um, All right, so here we've got uh, the bout truster, the batteries for the bout truster, and the anchor winch. Down here is another shunt, so we can actually measure the voltage and see what's going on with the bout truster and anchor winch batteries in our panel and navigation table. We do have a permanent charger on here um, even though it is being charged by the engine and, and other stuff it's nice to have a permanent charger on it to make sure that it is actually full all the time um, so while we're at it I just wanted to show you something else that's quite fun so just opened up a part of uh, under the couch here and I just wanted to show you the cables that run through this boat it's uh because yeah there is actually really a fair bit of equipment that that needs to be run and at these amps that are going through it of course the cables need to be quite thick so yeah I thought that'd be fun to show you okay so that's just a quick overview of our system yeah I hope you enjoyed it and it was clear and I just wanted to say another huge thank you to Victron for providing us with this stuff and in that actually being a big part in yeah making this foundation run and helping the teenagers that we take along. So huge thank you from us. Mm -hmm.